Hey, hey folks, and welcome to another installment of Dave's Impressions. This time around, Night in the Woods. These impressions were taken from playing the game for around one hour. Enjoy! The trailer of Night in the Woods didn't really do anything for me. I'm trying out something new, however, where I'm going to do my best to check out games that there is a general positive buzz around, because I'm curious why that might be the case. Have you ever watched the first episode of a TV show, and for the first 15-20 minutes you think, man, this just isn't working? And then something happens right near the end of the show that makes you want to watch the next episode? I played the hours spent with this game in two 30-minute blocks of time, and that's exactly what happened here. By the end of my first session, I knew I'd be playing this one through to completion. The start of the game has you wandering through the woods as your parents forgot to pick you up from the station. You are 20 year old May, a cat in a world of anthropomorphic animals who live in a small town. You're back from college and the start of the game is reconnecting with lost friends and trying to get back into the swing of things. You meet up with your buddy Greg and instantly head to band practice. This whole sequence put the biggest smile on my face, and this right here is one of the game's strengths. It has an indelible charm to it. Just running through the town with its paper cutout motif feels nice, like you've actually come back home. Of course the cute look might have been chosen on purpose to offset the adult nature of what the game becomes. What I mean is, May has mental health problems. There's hints of this throughout, but it's the party in the woods that really kicks off that you're playing a broken person. The final sequence before my time was up was a drunk induced nightmare. And from what I've heard, the game takes a turn into the supernatural, or at least thriller territory from this point on. And while I am very interested to see what happens plot-wise, it's that charm that has hooked me. I want to see Mei sort out her issues, and I want to learn more about her friends, the town, and for everyone to have a happy ending. I'm invested now, so I'm seeing this one through to the end. I'm going to be trying to make impressions videos of games I will be critiquing from now on, so look forward to that video in the future. Thanks for watching.